Okay, and welcome to another episode of how to use SailFlow 2.0 with um, Blender and to design sail reinforcement. Sail reinforcement, for the people who don't know what the sail reinforcement is, is a, a point in the sail where you create overlap of layers of sail cloth to create stronger material around the point of high stresses, which are typically the clues attack and the, and the top of the sail. There are several type of reinforcement you can do in, in a spider shape, like here on the windsurf example, or more fancy shape in the other, which uh, they also made for aesthetic reason. So let's go to Blender and see how this can be done. So I already designed a sail that you see on the screen. And first of all, we are going to see that in top view mode. And I want to design a reinforcement around this area and maybe a reinforcement around this area. Let's see how we can do it. I zoom here and I make sure that at the corner of the sail where I want to put my reinforcement, there is this small arrow, which is a cursor in Blender terminology. Then I create a triangle. Unfortunately, a triangle is not a default geometry for Blender, so I have to make one. I create a plane like this one, then I press tab to go to edit mode. I press 2 to go in edge selection mode. I select this edge. I go to vertex and I say merge vertex at center. And I have a triangle. Okay, now the triangle is pretty large. Resize it like that. And maybe I don't want to have it so square. So I resize it on the X axis. So S size X for the x-axis and I do like that. Maybe now it's a bit short so I size it on the y-axis. Okay, I think I'm happy about it. At this point in time I press Ctrl A, apply, all transform. And now I create another object which has nothing but a reference which is called the empty plane axis. I select my triangle, I go to this small range and I activate two modifier, the subdivision surface, which I put to four and simple mode, so it maintains the shape. I press apply and then the triangulate, I press apply. Now I can apply the last modifier, which is array modifier, which is create arrays of objects. I don't want to, the object to be offset by a certain amount, like here. I just want to be guided by the empty. And I want to have three objects. Now I, I select the empty. I press R for rotation and Z around Z. And I rotate and I create a number of triangles. To see them better, what is happening, I go here and I go in X-ray mode. So now I see all my triangles. I have the empty selected, I press R, Z, rotate around Z, and I align the last of the triangle here. Okay, if you think you can cut this close away, you see that here I have a spider, sort of a spider, that makes the reinforcement, can make the reinforcement. Maybe three is not enough, I want to make more. So I select again my object, my triangle, which is now three. Let me go back to top mode. And I say that I want 5. I have to realign, so I take, select the empty, rotate, Z, and let me realign. Okay, now this time is much better. I have a lot of them, and here I have a lot of overlap. I now have to cut the excess of cloth. First of all, let me apply this modifier, because at the moment it's not yet applied. I remove the empty, because it's just there and distracting. I create another plane. Now the plane is centered around my cursor and is 2 meter offside. I want to move it here aligned with the sail, so I will, I will say G minus 1 in Y. And I have it. So I move it by 1 meter down and now I have it perfectly aligned with my sail. I press shift and I click on my object then I press tab mode and I press A, means select everything. 
F3, I bring up the command line and I, I type knife and I have knife project. I make sure that cut through is selected and then I press X for delete all faces. And voila, I have deleted all the faces of my object with triangles and all the faces of my square, which I don't need anymore. So I go back to edit mode, I select this, which is the remaining of my square, X, delete. I have to do the same with this part of the C clause. Same process, Shift A, plane. Now I have to move it in this direction, which is minus X direction. G, minus one, X, enter. Then I press Shift, I select my triangle, I press Tab to go to object mode, and I press A to select everything. F3, knife project is already selected, press it, I press X, delete all faces, and voila, I have it. I go back to object mode and I remove the remaining of the square, of the square, yes. And that's what I have. At the moment, you see, it's not following the sail. It's just flat on the surface. So I have to do, to make it doing this. I select the object, I go to modifier and I select the modifier shrink wrap. I tell that I want to shrink wrap around the sail and I have to tell that I want a project shrink wrapped, not a, a, on the surface and on Z axis. Now what you see is that he has made a projection of course, but where the two sides really coincide, he did not actually move this bit. So my solution to this problem is I move this patch, this reinforcement a bit up by a millimeter. So I can do G for grab, Y for the direction, 0 0.001 meter, which is one millimeter, 0. 001. And now that is slightly uh, higher than the sail, this is the end of the sail, this problem disappears. Now I apply my shrink modifier and what I have here, I can select the sail and press H to have it hidden. So the sail is still there but it's hidden. I have my patch. When I look, you see it's curved because it follows the shape of the sail thanks to the shrink wrap. And now the only thing I have to do is to develop it, making a shape 2D using safe flow. What do I do? I select the object, I go to edit mode, I press 3 to go to face selection mode, I select one face of one triangle and I press L. And I have the old triangle selected but not the other triangles. In case you have problem with this selection, be sure that normal mode is selected. I go here and I say develop the selected face. And you might have seen that just under this a new face has been created. A new flat development of this has been created. Now let me go back to object mode and move these things away. Edit mode, I select this triangle, one face, press L, develop selected. And I do the same. have is equivalent in 2D. So the only thing that I have to do is to print this, uh, these faces and cut them and then stitch it onto the seal and they will perfectly follow the curvature. Let's remove everything. Let's go back to our sail and see how I can do the same here. The process is very very similar with some small exception and that's why I'm going to do it. So select the sail, I'm in top view mode, I press tab and I go to edit mode where I see all the edges and all the vertices. I can press 1 to go to vertex selection mode and if I press the corner, I only select the corner vertex, okay? What I want to do is to move the cursor here because there is the center of my reinforcement. I press the right button and I go here and I say snap vertices and I go cursor to select it. And the cursor is moved from here to here. So now all new object up will appear here. 
go back to object mode, shift A, plane. Remember to Ctrl A, apply in this case only in this case only the scale, because otherwise the object origin will be moved to here. So only scale. You know the drill is exactly as before. I have to create a reference which is created here. I go to my triangle and I apply a modifier which is subdivision, and this I have to put four or more. It must be a simple and then I apply a triangulation. So I have the right mesh for the job. Last, last point, apply an array. I don't want a relative offset, but I want an offset which is guided by my empty. I want to have five copy of the same triangle. I select the empty, I press rotate around Z, and I have my group of triangle. This one is, of course, not aligned. So what I have to do, I select again, I rotate, this time I rotate in the object, not the empty, and I align my first triangle here. Then I, I bring again the empty and I press R for rotate and I can create, align the last triangle exactly where I want. Now what is remaining to, to be done is to cut, to cut the cloth and the way to do it, if you remember, was to create a plane which is created here now because the cursor is here. For cutting this lower part of the cloth is not difficult, the same process as before. To cut in this part along the leech, what you have to do is to press R to rotate this square, then G to, move, to freely move it. And what you have to do is now is to try to align it to the leech to the best you can. The leech sometimes is curved, so it's not always possible. Remember that if you press the shift while you're moving, it becomes a uh, accurate movement. So I do like that. And now I press, I keep shift pressed and I select the object. I go to edit mode, I press A, F3, knife project. I make sure cut through is selected and uh, I press enter and then X, all the faces and voila. And the process as is the same as before. Now, I don't do it all because it will be just a repetition. One other thing. What if I want to do another type of patch? Okay, not this one, but another one. I have a suggestion. You can use the curve facility which is in Blender. Shift A, I create a curve, a Bezier curve. My cursor is here, so the Bezier is created here. So let, let me move it the Bezier. Uh, at the center, I think it's Alt G to go to the center and I move also my cursor in object mode I can go and say snap cursor to selected okay and it goes to the origin of the object which is selected let me rotate like that size it and move it uh, okay you, you can see what I'm trying to do this is this is uh, the type of um, the type of patch that we've seen in one of the picture, and to do that, I have several way. And in this case, I go and I grab in edit mode the control points, okay, and I move it to align it maybe to the say like that. Then doing that, I can press rotate, and I have other possibility to change okay okay let's suppose this is what I want uh, I like this type of reinforcement reinforcement shape okay I only have to close this curve to becoming a surface of some type so I press one of the control bar and E like Edward for extrude and then I select pressing shift the second one and then I press a, F and it makes a curve. Of course this curve uh, is not yet a mesh so it can, I cannot yet readily use. What I have to do is go back to object mode. Maybe I tell that I want a, a more refined uh, curve which might much more segment so it now is smoother than it was before and 
I go to object and I say convert mesh from a curve and now this is not a curve any longer and if I go back to edit mode and I press 1 to see vertices I see all vertices okay it's not a curve anymore it's a mesh but it's a mesh without faces so I can't really use it yet I press A I select all vertices I press F3 to go to command mode and I I type grid and I select a command which is called grid fill and now it has filled with faces my mesh I go back to object mode modifier subdivision this time the cut mool is cut mool calc which is a, say, a bit more rounded and soft type of subdivision seems to be working fine I put four five as much as I want apply and then I need to apply triangle a to become a surface that sail flow can handle okay now I have it okay uh, what I can do now is to say that control a apply all transform okay same as before I make an empty which is just a reference I select my curve again and I go to array but I don't want to have it relative but I have it an object which guides this and what I have now is this one this time I don't want to rotate because it's not the type of things I want to do but I do I press S for sizing so I'm sizing my empty but while I'm doing it it will size the copy of my object so select the object and I want to have three reinforcement I mean four three layers which make a total of four I want to have five layers and by sizing the empty I have them larger or smaller okay let's suppose this is what I want fine I reselect the object I apply this modification and I remove the empty because I don't need it and then I do what I did before press 3 to select faces pressing one of the faces that belong to a surface I want to develop I press L I go to develop selected face Salesflow thinks a bit about it because it's many many faces so it's not that fast okay done that I go back to the object and I press X remove faces so the faces which I just developed they're gone I go to maybe to object mode I put my cursor where the next surface is press tab again click to select a face press L to select all the faces that belongs to to this um, patch develop selected faces okay go back to the object delete delete faces go back to object mode put my cursor where the surface is click L develop selected faces and and the last bit okay so now we have it I mean the, the covered surface is uh, is gone unfortunately but okay that was just uh, to design I could have duplicated so I would have still have it but this is basically the sequence of patches that I need okay and I only have to cut them and to stitch it to the sail that was how you can use blender to create reinforcement in your sail I hope you find it interesting I hope you will find it useful for you and again leave comments if you have any send me email or even better send me pictures of your sale thank you very much guys have a nice one